Okay, hi, Second Deacon Aquarius. Um, so uh, just a little reminder. So uh, if you're wondering what deacon you're in, um, the, the second deacon of Aquarius, you would have been born uh, somewhere between January 30, 31st and February the 8th of the 9th, okay? You guys are um, a little more restless than the first deacon. Um, you can get bored, <laughs> but you are amazing communicators. Um, there's a heavy influence of Mercury um, with this deacon. All righty. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to get some numbers for you guys. Numbers for the second deacon of Aquarius, please. All right. Eight. This is nice. Victory communication. A ten. Always beautiful. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune there for some reason. Okay, we've got some transformation energy here. Um, and we have karmic justice. That's really nice. Let's see what we have on the other side. One and four. Beautiful. All right. Okay, second deacon aqua. Let's see. Let's see what the issue is for you guys. Ooh, nice. King of Pence energy there. Stable energy. All right. For the second deacon of Aquarius. What is the issue, please? What is the issue, please? What is the issue, please? What's at the heart of the matter? Okay, got something flipping already. <laughs> is it a Capricorn? Um, so we've got um, Sun and Capricorn there. I'm going to clarify. If it isn't a Capricorn, it could be somebody um, guarding a secret, guarding their heart, trying to control things, thinking that they're just fine without you. Um, can we clarify Sun in um, Capricorn, please? Can we clarify the Four of Pentacles for Second Deacon Aqua, please? Clarify, please. Oops. Okay. Oh! I believe, I know that we had a lot of um, cries for Aqua dealing with Leo, but I believe Aqua is dealing with Capricorn here. I've got a Capricorn um, going toward, sorry, um, I've got Capricorn and Aqua here. All right. Um, I'll just get one more card to clarify the issue here. Yeah, uh, guys, I think this is an earth sign, <laughs> okay? Or Pisces. Uh, although somebody is losing a lot of sleep, all right? Um, okay, let's just see what is coming in next. Let's see what your challenge is. Second Deacon Aqua, what is your challenge? It could be any sign, you know, being sort of guarding their heart and trying to control things. Um guarding a secret, um, uh, you know, and, and you're not happy about this, okay? Um, what is the challenge for Aquarius 2? What is the challenge here for Aquarius 2? Yeah, yeah, I really think this is a Capricorn. Um, I've got uh, the Emperor, I've got the Two of Pentacles, and I've got Venus in uh, Virgo. The challenge um, is that somebody, um, the person who's in control, the center of power, is refusing to make a decision, okay, about something. Although they're quite aware of your worth. They're quite aware. They're quite aware of it, all right? Um... All right, let's have a look and see what's crowning your reading, Aqua. Um, they like you a lot, okay? Uh, you're dealing with kind of a hard, um, hard to, um, th this person's emotions are hard to, um, to decipher, I think. Um, they don't easily um, tell you how they feel, uh, to put it at a minimum. <laughs> What's crowning the reading for Second Deacon Aqua? 
What's crowning the reading, please? What's crowning the reading here for Second Deacon Aqua? It's possible. I believe we need to get it from this side. What's possible for Second Deacon Aqua? That is. Oh, nice! I really do think we're dealing with Aquas who are dealing with an Earth sign. Um, you know, but we'll see. Um, I'll tell you what's possible is a brand new cycle, okay? But this time, it's one that can lead to stability. I mean, this this cycle is meant to go to the Ten of Pentacles. So that's a beautiful card to have crowning your reading. We'll break in the tape. Okay, Aquarius, we're going to look at the recent past, all right? What's happened in the very recent past that's relevant to this situation for Aqua? What's happened in the very recent past? Yeah, okay, so yeah. See, your person um, is just not expressing emotion. I'm going to turn this over. Yeah, again, you know, they're going back and forth and back and forth. They're not making a decision. There's a, there's a lot of emotion building up, and they're going to trip up. If they're not clear, and I think they've been kind of cold, if they're not clear, um, if they don't express this soon, they're going to trip up. Okay, some harsh words may have been used in the past. I'm just going to, um, or they may have cut you out or something. There's something cutting and cold there. Um, although what, what you need to know is that this person has a lot of emotion for you. Okay, um, can I get a clarification card, please, about the recent past? May I get a clarification on the recent past, please? Yeah, um, actually, yeah, so this has been very difficult, but I'll tell you what, Aqua, you may have been, you may have done the cutting out, um, and you may have cut out a Sagittarius, for one thing, what, whatever you cut out, it was difficult for you to do this, but it was toxic, okay, so whatever you did in the recent past, good, good, all right, now let's see what's going to happen in the future as a result of this. Um, that must have taken a lot of courage, Aqua. Good. Okay. What's coming up for Aqua 2 in the very near future? What's coming up for Aquarius 2 in the very near future, please? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. It's just too many. There's like five cards there. Uh, I think you might have broken somebody's heart. <laughs> what a surprise. Aqua breaking hearts? Hmm? <laughs> okay, what's coming up in the very near future for Aquarius 2? Okay, this is nice. You're going to love this. Um, did I just see the world? I did. Yeah, so whatever you did, it is going to instigate that massive, beautiful change that you wanted into the cycle that you want. Okay? Um... This is um, a card of all fixed signs, but it's a, there. you've manifested a change, all right? I'm just going to get a clarification card, either on how you did this, or can we get a little bit more information on the world here in the very near future, please? It's going to be a break in the tape now in a second. A little bit more. Okay, there's three cards there. Let's just see what they are. Okay, Aqua, I'm going to pick up these three cards. Yeah, Aqua did a walk away, I think. Um, or you're upgrading. I've got the Fool, which is you, um, being brave, uh, taking a risk, fresh new start. You're upgrading. I've got Eight of Cups, and then I've got some beautiful Karmic Justice coming in for you. Um, I believe that the Karmic Justice is that um, beautiful change that you needed. Um, now, what I'm going to do now, just to make sure that we don't run out of time, we're going to look at outside forces and then the outcome, okay, so we don't get cut off. Outside forces, please, that are affecting the situation. Outside forces that are affecting the situation. Outside forces that, yeah, so there was some trickery, okay? I, I mean, I'm looking at the Five of Swords, uh, that's Aquarius 1, not you, so I feel like there was some trickery. I feel like you did the walk away. All right, outside forces, please. Wow. But look, 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 look what this produces. See, see what happens when you're brave and you do the right thing. 
it comes together. Um, it, you know, this is one of the outside forces act. There's love there. There is mutual love. This is equal love. This is um, a perfect combination of male and female forces. There's passion there. Now, look, this stage, I feel like you, if this is someone that you've known or been with in the past, this is a new cycle for you guys. This is a new cycle. You can tell with this card, too, because the house is so far away in the background there. That's supposed to signify to us that it's it. this cycle is in its early stages. All right. Are you ready for the outcome, Aqua? We're going to have to just plow on through it. What is the outcome for Aquarius 2 in this situation? Looks like this could be any sign, by the way. What is the outcome for Aquarius 2? This should flip, okay? What is the outcome for Aquarius 2? What is the outcome? Ooh, nice. This is beautiful. So there's a whole lot of love. I'll get some clarification now in a minute. Um, this is an expression of love, all right? Um, it could be with a water sign, um, but I see somebody giving their huge cup of love to you. This is someone who's finally comfortable with their subconscious emotions. You know that the Queen of Cups, all queens are elementally water, but this is water on water. This is someone actually expressing a lot of emotion toward you. We are going to get a clarification card, I think, from the Witch's Tarot, okay? Okay. <laughs> I know I said that I would use the Witch's Tarot, but I feel like sticking with this deck for the outcomes, I feel like it's going to be more accurate. So we've got the Queen of Cups. May we please have, may we please have clarification on the outcome for Aqua 2. Okay, this should flip. May we please have an accurate clarification on the Queen of Cups as an outcome for Aqua 2. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I'm seeing, it could be with the fire sign, you are going to have that beautiful brand new opportunity. Grab it. This person is also very attracted to you, <laughs> okay? I also, I'm looking at the eight fertile leaves that have um, loosened themselves from the rod. <laughs> Um, and, you know, that goes straight to the Eight of Wands, so I'm seeing some incoming communication. So, if you have your person blocked, unblock them, please. Um, Aqua Chi, that was beautiful. Let me know if it resonated. Oh, I wanted to show you something really cute. Um, I shuffled these um, cards for you. Um, they're brand new cards. They're just messages from your spirit. And on the very bottom, just look at the star that she's reaching for. And the message is vulnerability and freedom. Um, <clears throat> it isn't always easy to put yourself out there, but you are being encouraged to do so now. Drop the shields and barriers that you have put up because these walls are preventing the world from seeing your light. I don't know if that means anything to you. Anyway, I thought, I just love the star <laughs> in the picture. Okay, Aqua 2, that was beautiful. Let me know if 